it's definitely not the morning so i'm not gonna say good morning i'm gonna say good evening i have filmed some clips from today literally i filmed like a time lapse of me getting ready this morning I've, i'll let you know what i've been doing there because i went shopping um with a friend we went in different cars and everything so don't worry and obviously we stayed two meters away but the shops were crazy crazy i didn't want to film because i was like you know it's mad it took me half an hour to get into the car park and about half an hour to get out of the car park it was mental so i do not recommend going shopping maybe wait until it's died down because it was mad we to be honest we only went in one, like two shops because it was too crazy and then we grabbed a drink from costa i had a coconut milk hot chocolate <laughs> There were so many people in there, I didn't want to start talking to the camera, I will get used to that, but, you know, it's a bit weird to begin with when you've never spoke to a camera before just to sit there talking to the camera. So I was a bit like, mm, don't really feel like doing that in public. I mean, I don't mind if it's quiet, but the fact it was crazy busy. So I bought one thing, I was supposed to be going for Christmas presents, but I was actually that busy, that I didn't even get around to getting anything. Um, bought some broccoli. That was... <laughs> that's not very ex exciting but the actual only oh no i got two things I got toothpaste because i need a new toothpaste and then i got um this danny dyer vaseline glossy lip shop and this is in the candy floss scent it's really nice i have some on now well it's kind of dried in now but it feels really nice and it's a gentle moisturized feel clear shine finish non-sticky effect and it, yeah it's nice i like it and that was on sale i think it was 2.99 which is quite good because they're normally like five pound but yeah that's literally all i got because it was just too busy like, it was a horrible day it was chucking it down with rain and we went quite late we went at like half three four o'clock so i was like maybe it won't be busy and because it's raining and people won't want to go out but it was complete opposite so yeah i think i'm going to avoid shops for now and oh, I'll have to finish my Christmas shopping online or just go into the local town and get some stuff from there, which hasn't got great shots. But yeah, I don't really have much to update you on today. I got up quite late. Yeah, when I did the time lapse of my, me getting ready, that was pretty much straight after I got up and I had a shower. And then I filmed that. So I think tonight we might be getting takeaway. I don't know what yet. So I'm going to go in side i feel like all my vlog clips are just me in the car at the moment <laughs> <laughs> it'd be better if you sat down no, like you're supposed to oh my god should, should, should we not sit down <laughs> huh give me a dining room chair oh my god oh my god <laughs> Even though yesterday I said don't go to the shops, we were at the shops again. I'm filming down here because I don't want people to stare at me if I hold the camera up in the air. But I'm with my mum and boyfriend. Now we're going to get McDonald's. And we had McDonald's last night. Not healthy. So we just took a trip to Bournemouth to go shopping. Again, I didn't really get a lot because it's so busy. I took a few clips of like the Christmas trees and stuff. There's not a lot to be honest. It's normally got a lot more around so there's only a couple of trees but i will insert the clips of that after this so they make sense because i was like if i just put them in they're gonna make no sense whatsoever so i'll insert them after this to the car now i'm so out of breath like walking up a hill but when i get home i will have an unboxing video of one of the boxes i had another one arrive today so i've now got three to unbox so i might do two today and one in tomorrow's vlog so i hope you've had a good day whatever it is you're doing and i will pop back on later to do my unboxing for you i have got my december look fantastic box here so i wanted to do a quick unboxing i love the box it's really nice good to give christmas presents in this is the leaflet that you always get inside if there's a theme it says christmas tree lit decorations up 
gifts wrapped, the 25th of December is almost upon us and this month the Beauty Box is here to celebrate. In this month's Beauty Box edit we're bringing you an exclusive interview with Avant's Head of Marketing, Jekyll Black's top tips to achieve the perfect dewy skin base and medicate seat to younger looking skin. And from all of the team here at Beauty Box HQ, have a very Merry Christmas. Okay, so, as always, that is what it looks like inside. And this month we have got silver wormies. So, just going to go through it really quickly. So, the first item is by Persian Reed and this is a Session Hold Hairspray. And that's what that looks like. And this is a 50ml and I don't think that the price is in here because they didn't do it last month and I don't know why. No, they're not, which is really annoying, but I'll find them and put them on the screen. So it says here, ultra fine humidity resistant and providing a flexible but firm hold. This hairspray is just what you need to help your hairstyles last throughout the day. Holding the can 20 centimeters away from your hair, gently mist over your style. And the next item is a brush and this is by Brushworks and it's the double ended eye brush. So this end you have a angled brush and then this end there's an eyeshadow brush. Probably won't keep this just because I've got a million brushes but I will pass it on or add it to a giveaway. And it says in here, Brushworks double ended brush combines both shading and precision. On one end is a shader brush, perfect for packing on eyeshadow and blending out the edges. The other is an eyeliner brush, suitable for use with powder eyeshadows and liquid gel eyeliners. Use the shader end to pack, buff and blend eyeshadows onto the lid. Turn it over and use the eyeliner end to define the eyes. And then the next item is by Jacob Black and this is Glow Drops, highlighting primer for the face, vegan friendly and cruelty free and it's in the shade Champagne. And that's what that looks like there. So this is a 20 mil. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so that's what the inside packaging looks like. So that's what it looks like when it comes out. And then if I rub it in, yeah, that's actually really nice. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see. Oh yeah, there's the shimmer there. It's like a goldy color, but it's quite natural once you blend it in. And I really like that. So it says here, Jack of Black Champagne Glow Drops. Add some much needed sparkle this festive season with your glow drops in a beautiful champagne colour that flatters a range of skin tones. Apply a small amount all over your skin before foundation for an all over luminous glow. For more precise highlighting, apply over your base makeup on the high points of your face, cheekbones, cupid bow, brow bone. Is by The Balm and this is Petal to the Metal Viva Vroom Cream Eyeshadow. Shift into overdrive. So that's what the outer packaging looks like, it's really nice. It's got a metal clasp on it there and that's the shade, it's like a ready, orangey, coppery shade. I really like that shade, I'm happy I got that one. And it says petal to the metal eyeshadow and there's various shades, there's a picture of six different shades here so I'm assuming you could get one of six shades. It says creamy, buildable and easy to blend. This, the Balm eyeshadow, is just what you need to inject a bit of colour into your makeup routine this festive season. Whatever colour you receive this month, expect a strong pigment that is great applied alone or with some of your favourite eyeshadows. Pack eyeshadow over your lid using your Brushworks double-ended brush and blend out the edges. Use on its own or combine with other eyeshadows. I'll just do a quick swatch of that. Can't really see the shade there actually, but let me... It's, it's quite light right there, but it is nice. So it's quite a subtle shade. And our next item is by Medicaid. I'm really excited to try this. This is the Hydra 8 Serum, harnessing hyaluronic acid and panthenol vitamin B5. This Medicaid serum brings long lasting hydration for a plumper, smoother complexion. It's cruelty free, vegan, and free from artificial fragrances. How to use after cleansing, massage six drops of the serum across the face and neck, suitable for both AM and PM use. Or you could have got a Ren body lotion, which was a 50ml. And that just says packed with sustainably sourced skin smoothing ocean ingredients this body cream is easily absorbed into the skin and will keep your skin smooth and toned and then lastly this item was our sneak peek from last month and this is by avant that's what that looks like there and it's the i don't even know how to say that propane adult a hyaluronic 
Maris Aqua Collagen Age Radiance Pro Radiance Brightening Eye Final Touch. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. That's a 10 mil. So it says here, fight signs of aging with this luminous Avant eye cream infused with hyaluronic acid and seawater to deliver long-lasting moisture and combat the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles and eye bags for an overall more youthful glow. Apply in the AM and PM onto dry cleansed skin. Take a small amount on your ring finger and gently tap around the delicate eye area. So that is all the items. I will just quickly gather them up. Okay, so this is all the items. So we've got the eye cream, the... Hydra B5 uh, Hydrate B5 Serum, the Jack of Black Glow, Dro Glow Drops, the Brushworks Brush, the Eyeshadow and the Hairspray. So overall I really like this box. I will be passing on one of the items but all of the rest I'm really excited to try. Let me know in the comments what items you received, if you got anything different to me and what shade eyeshadow you got as I would love to know if there was six different shades. <laughs> I've rubbed my eyes because I've got black to my strollers them. But we are now in bed and we are watching Bad Mums Christmas and then we will probably be going to sleep after that so I will see you tomorrow. I just want to show you this little festive setup that I've got going on. So I actually have these lights up all year to be honest because I just like them. These are Christmas lights and I bought them in the sale a couple years ago and then they, and they go all the way around my room which is really cute and then obviously I've got those ones and my Christmas tree is over there but I can't actually find the lights for it no idea where I put them so I might have to get some more for that but yeah I will see you in tomorrow's video good night good morning it is Monday the I don't even know 7th of December I think possibly I'm losing track so Today I am heading into the local town. I feel like I definitely don't go shopping every day, but it's just been the last three days I have. But I'm going to get a prescription and get some food shopping, just a little bit. So I've got a list. I, when I get home, I'm going to attempt to bake a Colin the Caterpillar. So it's like a packet mix, just because it comes with everything that you need. So it's got the sprinkles and all of that. So I thought it'd be easier that way. So I will show you as I'm making that. It's probably gonna fail because I just don't know how I'm gonna stick it together. I think it's just gonna fall apart, but we'll give it a good go. And yeah, I am due to have some parcels delivered today. So I will unbox those at some point. I still have, how many have I got? Um, I did the look fantastic yesterday. I've got a birch box to show you and I've also got a rock box again, but that's from November, so I don't know whether it's, I'll quick, actually I'll show you that now really quickly, just because it's from last month, so I won't go through it and read all the details about it because there's plenty of unboxings online. So I'll just show you the items. So the first one was by Nip and Fab. And this is the salicylic acid, uh, salicylic fixed concentrate extreme 2% and it's 30 mil. And that was worth £19.95. And then the next item is a body wash by Sopa Dupa. And this is the creamy deluxe sheer butter body wash vanilla pods. This smells amazing. It smells like a cake. It's really nice. That was worth £3.50. And then the next item is a mascara by Cover FX. 
no, not cover FX, Sport FX. And this is the Sport Stamina Mascara Waterproof Long Lasting 24 Hour Wear. And that's worth $7.99 and it's full size. The Nip and Favel was also a full size. And then our next item, my favourite primer in the world, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is just a 7.1ml, so it's like a, I think it's a deluxe travel size. And that's worth £6.53. And then lastly, which I'm really excited for, is a Candy Cosmetic Pre Glow Up Mist. Get your skin glow ready. And this is 120ml and again is a full size. It's really nice. It's really shiny and glowy and I like it. It looks like the Iconic London Mist. And this is worth £15 and, like I said, was a full size. So that was the items that I got in the rocker box for November. But if you want to watch that more in detail, there is many, many unboxings of that online. I just was late to the game because I subscribed to them right at the end of November. So I actually got this box in, this, in December. And I'm awaiting my December one now as well. And then I've got the Birch box or Birch bag, which came yesterday. So I'll do a proper unboxing of that later on when I get back from the shops to show you what was inside there. This is my outfit for today. So... I thought I'd show you, but then I can't actually remember where I got half of this outfit from. The jeans are from H&M, and mum jeans don't really suit me. So what I decided to do was get, like, a size up in the jeans. So they're, as you can see, they're a bit baggy, like, around here. But then you roll the bottoms up, so they're tight around the bottom, but then baggier, and I think that suits me more, because when they're loose at the bottom... I just don't like it, it doesn't suit me at all. And then my top, I can't remember where this is from. I haven't, I've cut the label out. I think it might be from Primark, but it's just like a, got ruffles on the bottom down there. And it's a high neck top. It's really nice. And then my socks are from Primark. They're just like the small socks, so you can wear them with like vans and stuff. And then my coat, which is the one that I had on yesterday, I'll just grab and put on and show you, but this is my coat and it's so cosy and it's good for the winter because it's nice and long. This is from New Look last year and it also has fur that you can attach all the way around, but it kind of gets in the way for me. I don't really like it. So yeah, that is the outfit for today. So as I said earlier, I am going to the Batch Box unboxing for December such a nice bag it's like green velvety and it says birch box on the zip there it feels really good quality actually and then we've got the leaflet here that says countdown to christmas and it says party season is upon us once again this year we may not be able to gather with loved ones and enjoy the festivities together but that doesn't mean we can't still celebrate in style may this month's jewel toned velvet clutch bag inspire you to put on your party frock and raise a glass at the biggest potentially virtual party of the year it's time to see the new year in style so the first item that i got is by benefit and this is the posy tint poppy pink tinted lip and cheek stain and this is a two mil so that's what that looks like there it's really cute packaging it is a tiny one it's just like a sample and that's what it looks like so that's the color that it is there and then if I blend it in, there, that's what it looks like. So you can see it, but it's quite light. But it looks really nice. And inside our leaflet, it says, Benefits, Posy Tint Cheek and Lip Stain. Posy Tint is the most perfect poppy pink hue that gives just the right amount of I woke up like this flush to your cheeks and lips. The lightweight buildable formula feels like water on application and lets you choose the intensity whether you're after a light wash of colour or a brighter stain. It says, Benefit Makeup Artist Loretta says, mix your tint with a liquid highlighter for a dewy radiant glow. And the recommended retail price is £15.50, but obviously that's for the full size, not this one. And then the next item is by Percy and Reed, and this is Up, Up and Away Root Lift Mousse. And that's what that looks like there. This is a 50ml bottle. And it says that the recommended retail price is £15, but again, this isn't a full size, so that's for a bigger size. It says, the only way is up with Percy and Reed's Up, Up and Away Root Lift Mousse. Its ultra light spray formula has been developed to target limp and lacklustre root locks at the roots, leaving you with big, beautiful hair and not a stiff, crunchy strand in sight. 
With built-in heat protection and humidity control, it's a multitasker that will uplift you and your hair in times of need. Good hair equals great mood. Percy and Reed was created by two of London's leading hairdressers. You're in safe hands. It's a charcoal exfoliating and cleansing pad by Lapcos. That's what that looks like there, and the brand's down here, Lapcos. And it says on the back, a black pad containing a fine charcoal powder to effectively remove heavy makeup and impurities from pores without irritating the skin. Insert fingers into the sleeve, quilted side facing down, gently rub on your face and neck in a circular motion. Dirt skin cells and debris will be visibly removed from the skin, rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. So I'm not sure if that's just something that you use once or if that can be reused. It says here that the recommended resale price is £10, so I don't know if that's just for one or if that's for multiple. It says this exfoliating and cleansing pad is packed with charcoal powder to draw dirt and toxins to the skin's surface so that they can be gently wiped away without irritating the skin. The dual sided pad lifts away heavy makeup and impurities from pores while rice and soybean extracts provide hydration and anti-aging anti benefits. Soybean extracts promote skin's elasticity. Okay, and then next, this is the item that we got to choose. So you've got to choose between this pink colour or a red colour. So I went with this one because I think that they're really pretty. Really, really nice. I don't actually use eyelash colours often, but maybe this will encourage me to use them. But these are so nice and I really like them. And these are also made by Birchbox. It says, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's got Birchbox printed along there. And that's a full size item and the recommended retail price for those are £12. It says open eyes and fluttery lashes make you look put together in an instant. With these stylish rose gold and dus dusky pink eyelash colours you can make your lashes look longer, fuller and thicker in just three seconds. Whether it's mascara and go kind of date or a full glam date night these colours will make you look bright eyed and beautiful. The rose gold design will look gorgeous on your dressing table too. Okay. And then we have an Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. That's what that looks like there. And it says here that the recommended retail price is £9, but I don't know if this is the full size because it's quite a small one. But it says, Twiggy fans rejoice this. Liquid liner lets you create mood looks in a finish. Rather than a hard to control brush tip, it features a pen style applicator that's completely goof proof, allowing you to control the thickness of the line you create and vary the intensity of your look. Plus the fade proof formula will hold up all day and night. And then our last item, which is really cute, I've seen in somebody else's unboxing already, is a little quad eyeshadow palette and this is by Chella. So, that's what it looks like. Recommended retail price is £19.95, but I don't know whether that's for a full size palette or just these four. So I'll just do a little swatch of these. There's all four of the shades on my fingers there, and I'll just pop them. So there's all four of the shades. That's not one of the shades, that was the tint earlier. So we've got those four there. They look really nice. I love this shimmery gold and the shimmery white. So it says here that this vegan and cruelty-free eyeshadow palette containing four versatile warm neutral shades has the potential to create a multitude of eye looks. With two pearl shades and two matte water resistant shadows, this palette is an everyday essential that will take you from desk to disco in a flash. For a more vibrant look, use your finger to apply the pearl shades for maximum shimmer. Okay, so this is what we had in this month's Birch Box. I really like this box. We've got the eyelash colours, the eyeliner, the charcoal pad, the eyeshadow quad, the Percy and Reed mousse and the Benefit lip and cheek tint. And then also we got the bag as well. So overall, I think this is really nice. I can't wait to give some of these items a go, especially this because I love the shimmers in it. And... Yeah, I hope you liked the Birchbox unboxing. Let me know in the comments if you've got anything different yourself because I know that they often vary. So I'd like to know what the other products that other people got were. Look how flipping cute these pyjamas are. I bought them when I went into Tesco's. Look at that, it says chilling together. And they, yeah, they're from Tesco's. F and F. 
made to love nightwear like they are so cute and they're gonna be so cozy i cannot wait to put them on tonight and oh they just look so nice right so i'm ready to bake so i've got two items that i'm gonna bake today so firstly we've got clyde the caterpillar so this is like a bit of a remake of the colin the caterpillar that you can buy i'm gonna call it colin because just prefer Colin the Caterpillar, not Clyde the Caterpillar, it doesn't sound right. Timed to go in the oven at the right time. I'm going to be making these cinnamon buns. So we wanted to try these out because if they're good, we might make them on Christmas Eve for Christmas morning breakfast. So that will be good if they are nice. Definitely be doing that. Colin, let's open up Colin's box and see all the bits that we have inside. Is there like labels on it? Okay, so we've got the chocolate cupcake mix. What even comes with the cases? A bit squished. <laughs> Icing. Okay, we've got everything here. And just this chocolate and sprinkles. These are like chocolate buttons, but I don't know where they go in them. Okay, let's follow it step by step. So the first step is to tip the cake mix into a bowl in this pink salad bowl because it's quite wide i like making stuff in this so we need to tip in the cake mix let's just check yeah definitely the cake mix don't want to be putting like the icing sugar in there or something really okay so the mix is in then we need to add one egg And then we need 30 grams of melted butter. Perfect, 30 grams exactly. So I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave. So now I'm going to add the melted butter. And then we need to add 20 milliliters of milk the smallest amount of milk to measure out. I think that must be about right. Okay, and now we need to split that evenly between the cake cases that we have, but they really are a weird shape from being squished in the box. We've got five. Not sure how to do this because they're not flattened down. I think I'm gonna have to just go for it and then hopefully the mixture will flatten the cases down. oven for 12 minutes it feels really weird just making five cakes it's like i've forgotten to make them so i'm going to pop them in and then i'm going to start on these so in they go i need to measure out 75 grams of butter scales on doesn't want to come for the spoon. That is 75 grams of butter. Now I need to put the sachet of bun mix in. So let's open this up. Is this the bun mix or is this? This is the bun mix, I think. Pour that in. If you ever have to make breadcrumbs, it's sometimes a lot easier just to do it with your fingertips. So, then we need to add milk. So this is dairy-free milk in here. And we need to add one egg and then stir the mixture until it becomes a dough. Egg. Bit 
bit of this. And then we need to put the dough down on here. It's very sticky, so I hope that that flour will help it to come together a bit better. To knead for eight to 10 minutes until it forms a smooth elastic dough. Well, it's already feeling like quite an elastic dough to me already. So we'll keep going for a little bit. Our rolling pin anywhere so I'm gonna make a bit of a makeshift rolling pin with this in a bag I feel like this is just gonna be the easiest way to do it so like this Empty the icing sachet into a bowl. Hopefully, I might just do this in a little bowl. I don't know. Do we need a big one? No, I don't think we need a big one. Put icing into a bowl with 40 grams of butter and one tablespoon of milk. So we now have our icing. This is our icing. And it says on the back of the box here to turn the cake into Clyde, remove the paper cases from the cupcakes and assemble the cupcakes on a flat plate on their sides in a straight line. So we use them to stick, we use the frosting to stick these cakes together in a line. Okay, so do we go that way? And that can be his head, yeah, right, we'll go like that, so. Oh no, I've just found another cake case inside one. I think I was meant to make make six cakes, not five. Uh-oh, oh well. It's okay, we'll have a bit of a shorter caterpillar. I feel like I just need to cut the round bit off because I think it's going to be too rounded, but we'll just have to see. This is not going to stick together very well. Okay. We are stuck together. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit around, just smooth it in. Okay, there is our base of Clyde. So I'm just gonna go and pop this in the freezer now, quickly. Okay, so here are the cinnamon swirls. They're not great. <laughs> I mean, that's not even a swirl. That one's okay, that one's okay. They're slightly burnt to be honest, I think I left them in a little bit too long because I'm too busy to, with trying to make Clyde the caterpillar, but I don't think they're too bad for a first attempt. A fail, I mean he's got the creepiest face on earth and I accidentally stuck some of his legs on backwards, those two. But I wonder if he'll taste nice, he looks very scary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 